Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is September 10th, 2022. And we're doing a live stream. Small comic book haul, grape harvest from our patio garden. Uh, talking about food and an open discussion. And what we'll try to do, because tomorrow we're doing a live stream as well, and we're doing a live stream that uh, I'm going to be sharing my sources of news and information. We've done, like, I think three of these before over the last few years. People have been asking me um, to supply some of that info. Cheryl, how are you doing? You popped in right off the bat. Awesome, awesome. I hope you're doing well. Cheryl, amazing blackberry season. We went picking yesterday. Wow, wow, wow. Ghostface, how are you doing? Oh, yeah. Good morning from my end, gang. Good morning from my end. And um, we're going to do a small comic book haul at the beginning. And then we'll do the grape harvest. Um, and that construction sounds again, gang. But this, this one, uh, uh, this time, the construction sounds should not be uh, constant. It's just neighbors, they're doing some rentals or something like this. Uh, I saw what they were doing, they're bringing in wood, and I think they're just going to do random cuttings. The sound of progress, the sound of progress, yeah. Have you gone blackberry picking? I got some blackberries. We, we ate so many blackberries. Check this out. Right. Let's see if we'll focus. Like, they're amazing juicy. Like, what a blackberry season. It's the best. Let's see. It's the best blackberry season in a number of years. Look at the size of that, right? Look at that thing. <laughs> Is it gonna focus? The juiciness of it, there you go. Right? Look at that thing. Delicious. Mm. So good. So good. A ghost face blackberry season was in July here. Maybe I should go out again. Yeah, it's uh, for us, it hits us later. <laughs> Let's get it focused. There we go. For us, it hits us later. I'm gonna go pick again today, juicy and sweet. And we're gonna pick some tart ones too because we might make jam out of this. Oh, look, God, how are you doing? Dark bark, my mom. Uh, my man, how are you doing? And that fruit looks like super good, like crazy. We ate so many yesterday. We picked here. I brought this to show you guys. Watch this. We picked, picked three and a half buckets of these. These are the honey jar, honey buckets that we get, right? So we went swimming in the ocean, and then on the way out, we did three and a half buckets of these right and they're like crazy good like wow so amazing <laughs> look at this look at the size of that guy look, look at that let's see look at that thing like the juice is just flowing out of it oh so sweet it's been so dry cheryl says that my late Raspberries are very sweet, but they aren't uh, as many as usual. Oh, wow. Here, it's been dry, but it has been crazy heat, like super hot. Like, <laughs> so good. So good. And like the best. Oh, look, God, I binge watch. Cobra last night awesome is it awesome i've heard this series is phenomenal um and by the way gang if you if you know of blackberry bushes where you can go pick them the best place to get blackberries from my experience anyway the juiciest are the blackberries that are right beside creeks okay ideally overhanging creeks and you can sort of lean over and start picking them because the 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 higher up ones are juicier so they hang over right so good so good 
Cheryl says, same with the peaches. They're awesome this year. Are they awesome? Oh, I haven't gone. I haven't, uh, I've eaten a little bit of peaches. The watermelons have been phenomenal. And then we picked some, uh, here, I'll show you. We picked just one bucket of these as well. Um, plums, yellow plums. Might make jam out of these, but I think we want to make liqueurs out of these. So we're going to make a little bit of liqueur out of the blackberries. Uh, at least one jar of liqueur out of blackberries. Consolidate the previous liqueurs that we have from the blackberries because they're old now. So get rid of the, the pulp. Just keep the liquid in a, in a jar. And then start new batches of blackberry liqueurs. So that'll be really good. And these plums will make amazing liqueur. They're like tart sour. Uh, so these things will make really good liqueur really good liqueur okay that's my guess anyway right see that how are you doing mm. Mm. so good so good i love plums like so good mm. Throw the seeds here, maybe they'll grow. <laughs> oh yeah, our intro. I'm gonna zoom through our intro again. Gang, if you wanna know what this is about, I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. As the God says, I haven't uh, said it for a while, so peach, I can eat a peach for an hour, <laughs> for hours. <laughs> that is one of the things you used to say, I heard you say it so often. <laughs> And you haven't said it for a while. <laughs> Yummy sense. <laughs> and gang, for those of you who are supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support, gang. I appreciate it. It is uh, one of the reasons that we're still able to do what it is that we are doing. And we do uh, have a Patreon, uh, uh, subscribe star page and a Substack page as well. So thank you guys. Uh, and girl, girls and, and everybody and anybody for the support gang when when wrench when wrench beat i don't know what that means and as well as the support we're getting on twitch gang uh twitch.tv for slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e thank you for being here thank you for the support and mods thank you thank you for taking care of business and for all the support on here as well as in gilded and we do have a Gilda server where you can share information. When are we getting a ranch? Oh, at some at some point, that's the plan to get a to get um, a house in the rural area with lots of land. And once we do that, we're gonna go crazy with the gardening and planting fruit trees and stuff like this. And we'll live stream the whole damn thing, really. We got plans. Chicho Ranch, Freedom Town, and chickens. Lots of chickens running out, and a doggy dog. And at least one one do doggo, or two doggos, most likely, depending on the line, right? Um, and a horse. Uh, gotta love the horses. And, uh, and a goat. <laughs> Gang, we do announce these live streams 30 minutes, 45 minutes before we go live on Get a Rekick Mines. Gab Parlor and Bitcloud, and we do have a sub uh, SoundCloud page where we upload uh, some of these live streams, the audio as podcasts. I've been in lazy ass mode this summer, sort of recouping from this little flu that we ended up getting, uh, so I haven't been up to speed on uploading those things. My apologies, my apologies, and we will upload this full live stream unless we go. People want to go hardcore. Maps, how are you doing? Or Matt? P.S. How are you doing? Thank you very much for the sub, brother. I hope you're 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 loving the content. They've subscribed for thirty uh, for sixteen months. Woohoo, Hong Kong! <laughs> I guess you're enjoying the content, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And gang, we will upload the full live stream to Sensor Two, as well as always, always to Bitcher Rumble and Odyssey. Okay. So since tomorrow we're doing a. Uh, you know, I'm going to be sharing my sources of news and information, doing an update from previous videos we've done. I think we've done three of them before. And it's been a couple of years at least 
more likely three or four that have shared those sources so there's new ones been added definitely uh, so we'll go through them as well we're we'll talk about Julian Assange tomorrow as well okay so that one we most likely will not be loading fully on sensor tube because sensor tube doesn't allow us to share certain types of information but for this one we'll keep politics on politics stream and we'll keep this one patio food harvest uh, open discussion but chill style okay Cheryl uh, I plan an annual trip to Chicho Ranch even pay for a guest yurt if you'd let me for sure for sure Cheryl for sure it'd be awesome Yurts here are uh, hard to, because I looked into this business actually, uh, having a yurt on the west coast of Canada. Uh, a few years ago, a friend of mine wanted to get into the business of it, and I did the research, and there's a problem with having yurts on the west coast of Canada, because we live in a rainforest, uh, it becomes a mold problem, okay? So you have to keep the, in the fall season anyway, fall and winter, you would have to keep them uh, relatively dry and dry ground. So there's a couple of companies that had back then that had tried to do it and I looked into it and the mold issue was a problem so I gave the no uh, thumbs down to my friend that wanted to get into the business and he took up my advice, he didn't get into it, which I think was a good idea. Holy oh God, I'm actually about to do the egg diet, two weeks of, uh, two weeks of six eggs every day, yikes, two weeks of six eggs every day. Wow, you're working out like mad, so why not? Why not? I want to pour myself a beer again. Rendell, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hey, Chicho and chat. Gang, I'm going local again. Okay, but we're going uh, Pilsner Light. Okay. You, you've seen this one before. Hoi, this is the company. Hoin from the island here. Their dark matter beer is amazing. Yeah, Cheryl, uh, from from what I saw, uh, the mold issue uh, with yurts uh, on the West Coast was um, very problematic. Very problematic. Uh, I actually I have a friend that has a yurt, and we stayed in a yurt, and it was fantastic. Uh, but a problem. Would a raised yurt fix the issue with mold? It would as long as you can cover it as well in the fall. Okay. Build a patio, basically. Build a patio, basically. But you would have to cover it in the fall as well make sure because it, even when you build raise it the wood would get wet so you would have to dry it there like we stayed in the yurt where uh, there was a fireplace there too uh, inside like a wood fire stove it, it was amazing warm super warm uh, so and very spacious very spacious very spacious Cheryl, the canvas would never dry well regardless of raised or ground level, I think. Yeah, yeah, that was problematic. Problematic. Salute, gang. Oh. Very delicious. Very delicious. Should we do a comic book haul? Oh God, I'm tea to uh, total tonight as it's my birthday tomorrow and I want to do one last summer speed star session before I go cold drinking. Like, I got my tea here too. In my fantastic gifted cup for my student. But in the sunshine right now, beer is hitting the spot. Ghost face. Oh, at this point, maybe we should just build a cabin. Maybe we should build a cabin. Exactly. Delicious. Gang. Oh, let's hold off on the or van life. <laughs> Living in the van has its advantages and disadvantages. Right. Gang. Let's do a comic book haul. I got, I got three graded comics at a ridiculous price. One of them was fair value, but two of them were just insanely, insanely cheap. They were local buys. Okay. 
there were local buys so there was no shipping involved okay and so I didn't even I didn't have to pay taxes on shipping so I saved on shipping as well three CGC graded comics here's the first one let me take it out of the bag New Avengers number seven from 2005. Okay, first appearance of the Illuminati, Century, Wrecker, and Mer Mary Hill appearance. Paul Jenkins cameo on last page. New Avengers number seven, right? Ended up paying nine dollars and fifty cents US for this. <laughs> and remember, local pickup, so there's no shipping shipping cost. Let me make sure I got that price right. Uh, yep, nine dollars and fifty cents US for this. Okay, just shipping this out to get it graded and having it come back would probably cost like forty US in Canada, if not more. Okay. So if you want to build yourself a CGC comic book collection, okay. if you want to build yourself a CGC comic book collection, and here's the back, you could build yourself a super cheap, like inexpensive CGC comic book collection by going for stuff that isn't hot right now. Okay, that isn't hot right now. And I think this guy was selling this for a hundred dollars, right? So fantastic deal, fantastic deal. Here's another one. <laughs> this one, the guy was selling it for $125, right? We ended up getting this one for 1050 US, right? Stray Dogs number four, okay, from 2000. 21 the demons movie poster homage homage cover okay. graded at 9.8 for ten dollars and fifty cents and the demons movie it's a 1980s b horror movie i don't know if uh, uh what do you call it any of you guys have seen it elder god i'm not sure i haven't seen it it's weird i i saw a lot of the horror movies b horror movies and i've seen them multiple times from the 1980s but i haven't seen demons and it's about uh, these people that go into a movie theater I believe and uh, zombify people become zombified and eating each other killing each other and stuff like this so uh, super cool ten dollars and fifty cents great deal great deal and I was picking up this series by the way until I stopped uh, going to my comic book shop right so fantastic series what's this Kieran uh, Gillen. Here's a review. K Kieran Gillen. And it's a horror series. I didn't read any. I just picked it up. Right? Stray Dog manages to somehow be a convincing uh, co collision between 101 Dalmatians and Criminal. Noir, charming, and a really great take on quasi real dog psychology. Great cover. Demons. Stray dogs number four. Ten dollars and fifty cents. So that's one thing. If you're on budget, which I am, right? Uh, I'm just looking for really, really amazing deals that their books are not hot, and you can pick up the stuff super cheap, super cheap. Okay. Here's another CGC uh, graded comic, and the guy was selling this one for a hundred dollars. Right. I like the usage of the word unleashed. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> For dogs. Sometimes a wicket has been unleashed. <laughs> the top, right? Something wicked has been unleashed. <laughs> nice catch, Randall. And this one was fair value, in my opinion, anyway. That's what it's going for. It is still a great deal. This is uh, Spider-Man number one, Marvel, Marvel Comics Group, 
okay from 2012 um, and this is the first th this one I paid 28 dollars US okay so that's the going price so it's fair value still a great deal right cheap it's the first appearance of Peter Parker and uh, what do you call it uh, da, 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 uh, uh, miles Morales uh, right so it's their first appearance uh, and for future value and stuff like this is a good, good good place to at least get a copy right so $28 US for this not a bad deal and again uh, no shipping involved which makes it an even better deal right uh, but still taxes that I had to pay on this right so all four of these ended up costing $50 something yeah 50 almost $50 US plus just taxes on it right you have this issue nice and check this out we've got a little package <laughs> we got a little package and this one is trading cards right you've seen this one before we're actually doing a reading on it right now and I only had one copy of this I wanted another copy because once we start reading we've only read the first 12 cards of this we've got to do the rest it's coup d'etat the assassination of JFK so this is my second copy of this and we do have this uh, you know reading of the first 12 cards done and we're gonna read the rest uh, this fall anyway right and again I'll say this there's more knowledge in these cards than in all of high school history class classes that you can take right here's card number one we've looked at all these well we're gonna look at all these we've looked at the first 12 and ended up getting this one uh, at a good price if it was a local pickup so it was $15 let me let me check this out let's see I ended up paying I won this for 1550 Canadian okay the shipping ended up costing what was the shipping on this dun, 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 dun. the shipping ended up costing $18 and it's from Canada okay and taxes ended up being four dollars something on this so on a fifteen dollar item i paid four dollars in taxes right because they charge taxes on shipping as well so it ended up being like 26 percent, 27 percent in taxes which is a total rip off right but still a good deal for this uh set of cards because they're going for a higher higher price um a couple of years ago they were cheaper right now uh, that was the cheapest I could find it so it ended up costing like 37.50 or something Canadian okay oh my god I'm obsessed with first appearances if I see it on a comic I simply have to buy it <laughs> yeah. yes first appearances first uh, first encounters first reveals first anything really uh, first of a series starting the prices on them it's incredible I know a lot of uh, over the last few years uh, I've seen a lot of resellers a lot of people that were blowing out a lot of comics and they used to list hundreds of comics right uh, they've ran out like they don't have any more right uh, there's some warehouse sellers out there that have hundreds of thousands if not millions of copies of comics so they're they're constantly selling it but there were minor resellers that had you know a few thousand uh, feedback that used to be listing a lot of comic books and I've bought a lot of stuff from them over the last 10 years or so right but they're no longer around like they're they ran out of comics to sell and you know re and you know a seller is uh, is slowly getting to the end of their inventory is when they reduce the number of auctions they do and they just put buy it now and as some of the buyers have been buying from they're doing way less auctions now and they're doing the buy it now because they're running low on inventory and once they blow those out that's it they got no more right 
uh, Randall, when are those printed? These ones were printed. We looked at these. Um, these ones were printed late 80s, I think. Late 80s, I believe. Let's check it out. Coup d'etat assassination. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. It's not on the info card. Where is the info? Is there a date on the info card? No. There is on the back of the things. Uh, early 90s. The text uh, revised second. Coup d'etat trading cards revised second edition. Text copyright 1990. 1992 Paul Branco art copyright 1990-1992 so second edition I didn't realize there was a first and second edition so this is the second printing on these things I don't know crazy so 1990 and then 1992 I have to cross reference this with the other set that I have see if the other set is uh, first edition or second edition so 1990 1992 these would be 1992 i'm not sure what the other ones were i'll have to take a look at them when we do the next reading we'll uh i'll try to bring these to see if there's any difference between if those those are the original uh print on them super cool i and i was buying comics from the comic book store at the time i had a pull list on a comic book store and i don't remember these cards in the comic book store uh, at the time I wasn't collecting cards uh, so maybe it just didn't cross uh, it, it didn't register with me but I don't remember seeing Eclipse comics uh, comic book cards this one or uh, uh, coup d'etat or this is the coup d'etat the or rotten to the core uh, trading cards or drug war trading cards or any of those right Oh my god, Elder God, you got the first appearance of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Wow. Keep that well. Keep that safe. That thing is only going to go up in value. Right? Famous last word, but I think it's only going to go up in value. Uh, that's a that's a major key. Major key. A few years ago, you could have bought it for like a thousand bucks. Low copy for like 500 maybe. Right? Now, I don't even know what it's going for a high grade copy would be going for easily 10 15 20 grand right artwork differs from the edition yeah i wonder too we'll have to put them uh, together see as long as that one is the first edition kebabs how are you doing cheers brother good to do a live stream i haven't been doing too many of these still in recoup mode and school season starting so this summer was we planned on doing a lot of work this summer but uh live streams and stuff like this but i got taken out i got taken out gang that's our comic book haul <laughs> nice haul nice haul on the down low on a budget and amazing buys amazing buys should we do should we do grape harvest which is going to be nice and chill i'm just gonna harvest some grapes and show you what we ended up getting how many how many grapes we're getting and stuff like this i'm gonna pop some more blackberries oh i mean look at this just so good elder god chicho live streams are like sighting of the yeti this summer i know i know crazy but wow uh We'll talk more about this little flu I picked up uh, maybe tomorrow. So good, so good. Let's see the grapes, let's see the grapes. Let me show you guys. We're gonna harvest a lot of grapes. And I got some almonds here too. Munching on almonds, good for you. Almonds and beer. What have we got? And at some point, by the way, gang. See this? 
hops. I got a hop, hops coming up the steps, right? And it goes up and I have it coming like an arch here. So at some point we're gonna harvest some hops as well. Let them get a little bit bigger. Hopefully it doesn't rain too hard to destroy them. Uh, but I'm gonna harvest them before the rainy season starts. Here's, here's some of the hops we harvested last year. Okay. Here, let me show you. They're super cool. Check it out. So these are hops we harvested from our patio uh, last year or the year before. I think the year before. And they're like really fluffy, right? And every now and then we just throw a couple of these, a little bit more, like three or four of these into the teapot. And it gives it a sort of a bitter taste. And it's it tastes good. Supposedly you can do other things with hops as well, but I haven't really experimented with it. So we have like, I don't know, three or four jars of these that we harvested a couple of years ago. And we're going to harvest more this year as well. Maybe look into what we can do with them. All right. See what we can do with them. Almonds, elder God. I love almonds. Almonds are the best. Almonds and walnuts. Hops liqueur. I haven't thought about it. Do you think it will work, Cheryl? Hops liqueur? Hops jelly, I thought about it. I looked at it, but um, I, I, I didn't... It just didn't go about doing it. Maybe we'll do it this year. I'm not sure what it would taste like. I've never tried hops jelly. Um, I don't know. I'm, I mean, we would have to use a lot of pectin, right? Uh, to give it the hardness of it. And then sieve out the, the hops, the meat of it, the flowers, right? I'll have to look into it. It would be like an amazing, amazing tasting jelly for sure full of flavor let's do grape harvest gang let's do grape harvest check this out check this out i got some bowls here okay because we're going to fill up a fair bit we're going to harvest a lot okay we're going to harvest a lot um, it's time to take them down and grapes keep a long time right could be weird the liqueur maybe just a pint or uh pint or so yeah if i was gonna make liqueur i might just do a little bit um i can't see the liqueur tasting that good but it could be wrong first time chat first time chat we're gonna have to have a drink on this one um you can also mechanically set um uh, separate hops hops uh trichromes from the flower like you would do to make keith hash oh out of cannabis to reduce the plant material used in any potential hops project oh i didn't even think about that you could do that eh like the the uh, basically the ice uh, spinning thing with uh, really So throw these into the spinner with the ice and just keep on spinning it, shaking it, and get it out. Oh, I never thought about that. Daylight 1943. Thank you for the suggestion. Cheers. I used to have one of those, uh, the bags that we did. I've made, uh, uh, I made finger hash before, like the, the kefir stuff with, uh, with the ice bags um, but I don't have that system set up anymore or I don't have that system anymore miss no uh, none of the I, I do have the dark matter beer but I didn't I felt like going light today uh, I want to see a cannabis liqueur mmm I wonder what that would be like you can make cannabis tinctures cannabis tinctures work well actually uh, cannabis liqueur I don't know the aroma mm. we are getting some ice advice we're getting some ice advice could be interesting with a peaty scotch base mm. i think it would be amazing really chicho hiding <laughs> Ghost face. Uh, daylight you can do ice water or do it dry 
by just shaking them over the proper sized silk screen okay hops is the only other member of the plant family cannabacchia aside from cannabis really i had no idea what are you serious so all i would have to get is a sieve right the what do you call it the silk screen and just take the hops and just shake 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 and the what do you call it the the crystals would fall down really let's get the info from this uh, so we understand that Ghostface, are you getting the full view? <laughs> the beer is delicious. While well, we wait for the answer again, let's harvest some grapes. Let's harvest some grapes. The odds are we're probably gonna fill all of this. All good now? Oh, okay, awesome. Let's put this guy here. Oh, let's see the answer. Oh no, it's not. Gruz, what is your favorite beverage? What's my favorite beverage? Water is my favorite beverage. Uh, but tea, I like tea. I like tea a lot. I've been dying to take this one down. Check this out. Like this one? is beautiful it's just been hanging here for like just growing and getting juicier right. Take a look. nice nice our grape harvest let's do this Green tea is awesome. Uh, let's be loose. Oh, I gotta put on my glasses to be able to read that.
using so <laughs> what happens what happens is next year I'm gonna make sure the grape but the grapes the fruit is not growing into each other I freed up some of them where they're hanging but I have a whole bunch there that's just growing together look at these so juicy so good I'm gonna make a little bit of grape liqueur with this stuff Chaos. It's all just grown together. Right. Ooh. Turn into raisins even. That's one bowl, right? We can do more. Let's fill up another one.
Awesome. Awesome. Sorry if I'm not checking the chat, gang. Harvesting grapes. So nice. We got two balls. <laughs> right. Let's do more. We have a whole bunch over here. Beautiful. Some of it I can't even reach, just overhanging the balcony.
Look at this one. Yeah. Oh god, Chicho, I will take one bowl, 30 bucks. Shipping would be like 200. <laughs> Look at this, awesome. Oh wow, so much over there. How do we get over there? Okay, let's go for easier pickings for now. Is one that's turning into a raisin. Here's three bowls. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do one more bowl. One more bowl is going to be easy pickings as well. Okay. So, what we'll do, let's check it out. We'll do one more bowl. It's going to be easy pickings, and then um, I could do more bowls, but the other bowls are going to be reaching higher and around, overhanging the balcony, and we have a fair bit of grapes coming up the steps so i'll have to go around the other side and see what i can harvest on the other side but let's do one more bowl that'll be four bowls we can make our liqueur and or have enough to make our liqueur which most likely we will do a live stream of as well uh, making most likely some uh, uh, ja um, grape uh, sauce uh, like um, last time i cooked it up so i made grape uh, that we ate with bread and sour cream and stuff so good and we got the juice out of it where we could make concentrate and then just make grape juice with soda and stuff like this so super good as well no no I won't risk danger on the go 
for uh, maybe for grace we will but not too much danger <laughs>
these ones. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. So here's two more bowls. <laughs> so we got four bowls of these. Okay, that's good for now. I'm gonna go wash my hands, just rinse them because they're sticky right now. woke up say hi okay off you go I'm gonna take the grapes inside actually guys so via doesn't get into the grapes I'll be right back
and that's a fun thing to do for a Saturday morning <laughs> harvesting grapes. <laughs> the bees are going, what you got here, man? Or the wasps, not bees. Just give them a little rinse. Look, they're seriously. These are some of the best grapes I've ever had. I don't know why, but they are. They have the perfect amount of tanginess and sweetness and juiciness. So good. Fantastic, wow. Lovely ambiance. <laughs> Tsiji. I can't I don't know how to pronounce your name. Siji. I don't think the T is pronounced. Thank you. Lovely ambiance. You need we need in these times, gang. Seriously. When the pressures of the world even get to me, I know there's a lot of pressure in the world. Right? So we need a space. Uh, I highly recommend if you can create a space for yourself and work towards it. That's part of personal finance. That's part of investing. That's part of life pro tips. Uh, make sure you have uh, not a safe space, but a space that is yours, uh, that you've put a lot of love into, that gives that love back, right? It's all, it's like those, uh, you know, fantasy, uh, books and movies and TV shows that you see right where like even in Sandman the comic book series Sandman and the TV series where uh, Morbius Sandman puts some of his power into his tools and You know, there's always been a question. Why would you do that because you have the possibility of losing it? Uh, the thing is those tools also empower you your space also empowers you Okay Elder God, people are eating more grapes than they did several decades ago. In 19... 19... Uh, is just chilling here. And here comes Sal, too. Uh, in, in 1970, the average person consumed 1.9 pounds of grapes each year. By 2009, yearly consumption had increased to 7.9 pounds per year. Very cool. Uh, I think I'm well above that. <laughs> Salute. Beer goes well with it. Wow, wow, wow. The two kitty cats are totally chilling here. Very cool. I should catch up to some of the chat that was happening while I was picking the grapes. Free Julian Assange, gang. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity, to me and you. Something that should be obvious to everyone by now that we desperately, desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or multiple multiple amount of resources that are available online on multiple platforms if you cannot find it on sensor tube because sensor tube has been killing a lot of information you will definitely be able to find those videos that information on bitchute rumble and odyssey and please note gang I'll give you an example something we we'll, you know I plan on talking about during the Assange thought but for example if you go to let me find this here is an interview that john pilger made with julian assange back in uh, early 2010s oops let me do this copy on john pilger's website okay oh god hold on should I hold on? Okay, I'm gonna link that up. 
That's the first interview that John Pilger made with Julian Assange. Okay. Here is a follow-up interview that John Pilger made with Julian Assange in 2014. And it's on RT. Okay. Now, RT tomorrow tomorrow i gotta do this i started elder god and on rt this video will not play for me because it says video unavailable this video is not available in your country so in canada rt has uh canada has banned this video from playing through the rt where julian assange where john pilger made the interview with julian assange right well guess what you can go to BitChute and find that interview. Okay, you can find this interview. And the odds are tomorrow we're going to watch this interview that I linked up here that's on BitChute. Okay. In 2016, I think this interview was done. And in Canada, Elder God bans it. I can't open the link today. Don't open it today, Elder God. We're going to celebrate your B Day tomorrow. Salute gang, salute, 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 and to Julian Assange. Same in Finland, eh? Yeah, Finnish dude. Governments are trying to censor humanity. We need to make sure they pay a fucking heavy price for it. Can't open. Crazy, crazy. In Canada, I can watch it on BitChute, okay? If they ban that, then I will go through a VPN. Okay. Or hit up Rumble, or hit up Odyssey. That's the thing with centralized power. They will try to censor you, right? Totalitarians, they will try to censor you, censor you, censor you, prevent you from being becoming a real human being, someone who, who, who decides their own future right and they will always fail they will always fail let's take this down but politics will keep on politics right let's eat some almonds almonds good food and we're gonna go pick more blackberries today go swim and go pick these are the blackberries we picked yesterday. Fantastic blackberry season. Thank you very much for the follow, Yanel18. Amazing blackberries. You're going to go blackberry picking, Cheryl. Gang, I highly recommend. Like, just imagine. In the grocery store they sell like a bowl of like this much blackberries I, I don't know how much I don't buy blackberries in a store but it's expensive I've looked at it we picked is this the blackberry yeah we picked three and a half buckets like this yesterday like just from a from on top of a creek basically where there's a creek blackberries growing right Three and a half buckets like this. We're gonna go pick probably another three and a half buckets, four or five buckets of this much today, right? How much is that? And that's like organic, like it's just grown in nature, right? It's a sort of personal finance thing because first you save money, second you're eating healthy food, third you're getting some exercise, you're going outdoors win 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 so the text was not showing up for you guys hmm. the links are purple yeah I see the links is purple as well it's getting cold here how about in Canada and anywhere else try. in uh, on the west coast right now it's still really nice and hot right now it's like 25 degrees celsius here um, the water in the ocean is getting a little bit chilly 
<laughs> but it's good swimming. It's good swimming. It's just refreshing, really. It just feels good. Feels good. And the salt water on the skin is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. You want the link? I'm going to send the link again, Elder God. Here's the link again. Boink. Let's see if you see it. Three degrees Celsius there? Fin uh, finish, dude. You're down to three degrees Celsius? You're kidding me. Oh, Matty G, you can't send the link because you're not a mod or me. Only mods and myself are allowed. Thank you for trying, though. In Croatia, it's still 25 degrees Celsius, but at the end of the week, should drop to 18 Celsius. Oh, no. I, I think we're still going to stay around 20 in Canada. Or not Canada, but west coast of Canada, because Canada's insanely large, right? You're being link banned, Elder God? What the F? Randall, three degrees where I live in Sweden. Oh, man. Brr. <laughs> I'm not ready. Really, I'm not ready. Like, for example, this is this is our cannabis plants, right? I don't know if you can see the buds growing. These guys need at least another month. It was a late summer for us. Like, these guys need at least another month to get... But it's not... We're not going to have another month of summer. Another month of sun. So our cannabis harvest this year is not going to be very many, unfortunately. Oh, cutting down some stuff. Aldegas, 17 degrees Celsius in Birmingham, UK. Okay, cool, cool. And our tomatoes, like we, we still have lots of green tomatoes. Like insane amount of green tomatoes. But we've got lots of red, like not lots of red, but the red, red ones are coming in. Right? So for example, take a look at this one tomatoes off the vine are amazing like take a look can you see it i'm gonna take this one down come on Oops. broke the vine uh oh i broke the vine so i have to take this down too i broke the vine when i pulled it so these are most of our tomatoes are still this green uh, like it was a late summer on west coast but we got this one that's red right zb958 thank you very much for the follow and tomatoes like seriously one of the greatest smell in nature when you're gardening is the smell of tomatoes like smells so good and even just everything about the tomato smells amazing like really i love the smell of tomatoes okay and these will right like get red over time you just leave it inside the house on the counter and uh They'll get red. So we've got lots of green tomatoes here. Some little red red ones too. Here, I'll show you these ones as well. We've got little cherry tomatoes. 20 degrees and rain in Addis, Ethiopia. Very cool, very cool. Tesigji. So only 20 degrees in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is fairly large though. So we've got a little, uh, what do you call it? The cherry tomatoes as well. These ones are usually pretty sweet. First time chat. ZB958. Hey, just randomly saw you while browsing Twitch, but been a YouTube subscriber for about six years. Very cool, man. <laughs> Very cool. First time chat. We gotta have a drink. Thank you for popping into our Twitch. Salute. First time chat, another one. Lucky Kitten 05, salute. Have a great day. You too, you too. Pretty good. I got a little kitty cat here beside me. Cheers, yeah, I'm baby night. Yeah, most of my tomatoes are green as well, which is strange because they are really big, but still green. Yeah, same here. <laughs> and only a few of them are red. I don't know why and what to do about them. Uh, you know what? Uh, let them stay on the vine. Like I'm, I'm, I'm letting them stay on the vine, uh, and they'll slowly get red, right? Uh, but right now, I'm taking them down as soon as they reach about this level because we got to 
little rodent that's coming around at night and he's already taken out like three or four tomatoes which is like hey there's our butterfly we got a butterfly plant here too butterflies like coming to the butter butterfly plant like this guy here is a butterfly plant uh, it's pretty cool actually we got a couple of other red tomatoes here too I'll take down one of them which is orange here's another one there's more orange than this one but amazing smell amazing smell amazing smell I want to put these guys here actually I'll just put them here How's it going, Chicho? A flying kiwi. How are you doing? For, uh, a block and a half down, we have a neighbor that's growing kiwis. How's it going, Chicho? Been a long time since I joined the stream. Thank you for popping in. Welcome to another live stream. Cheers. Oh, you have to update the app, Elder God. Okay, okay. Maybe not. Yeah, I'll leave them be. I'm just afraid the cold weather doesn't ruin them yeah if it starts getting cold I would I, I, tomatoes should stay okay with the cold uh, as well like you can keep tomatoes on the vines when almost all the leaves are gone and Cheryl can correct me on this full size or kiwi uh, kiwi uh, berries no uh, full size kiwis kiwi berries I don't know what kiwi berries are kiwi berries are like little kiwis Hell of God, winter is coming. It's going to be hell this year. Everyone get oh yeah. But we'll leave the politics to tomorrow's stream. Zare, how are you doing? What books did you get? Oh, you want to see the books? Check it out. It's the price that I got them for. That's the kicker, brother. Like, pff, fantastic price. Watch this. I got, I got another set of coup d'état. Uh, assassination of JFK trading cards nice total including taxes and everything came out to like $37 which is the cheapest I could get at Canadian so that's like $30 US uh, less than that right 20 $27 US or so Ronnie how are you doing here are the books I got crazy cheap price this was fair value okay amazing spider-man number one from 2012 first appearance of Miles Morales and Peter Parker got this one for 28 dollars us good deal good deal right but the other two are insane deals cheap 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 right the grading alone costs triple as much this one okay stray dogs number four the demons variant cover right graded 9.8 paid ten dollars and fifty cents us <laughs> ten dollars and fifty cents us right and i picked this up locally right so no shipping involved no shipping involved right and new avengers number seven 2005 first appearance of illuminati paid nine dollars and fifty cent for this <laughs> us nine dollars and fifty cent us <laughs> just grading alone cost 40. so someone paid me 30 dollars to get this book take this book off my hands i'll give you 30 dollars okay thanks So that's what we ended up getting. I'm going for low ball, like cheap, cheap everything. Right now, Zari, I mentioned this earlier. Right now is an amazing time to, if you want to build up a uh, comic book collection, as long as the books aren't hot, some of these books are going for so cheap, so cheap, right? Because people are tapped out to a certain degree. So you can buy, read, like you can, you can build up an amazing CGC collected collection box books uh but just not going for the hot books just buy the cheap stuff just buy the cheap stuff those are incredible you're so good at bargain hunting i have to I'm, i live on a budget right i live on a budget I, that way i don't um you know i enjoy life i i don't um that really one thing i learned gang is our butterfly i like our butterflies here one thing i like like really appreciate what the word frugal means right for the longest time i used to think frugal meant cheap right and then i went out with someone i dated a girl she was haitian right uh, a good girl i learned a lot from her and she learned a lot from me 
right? Um, Haitian girl uh, living in Canada, uh, and she had to make her own way and stuff like this. So, and we dated a little bit of time um, and spent a fair bit of time together. And she was very frugal, but not cheap. And that's how I understood what the word frugal meant, right? And that was a huge improvement to my life. So learn to be frugal. Every now and then you can go ballistic, spend like mad and go crazy, do whatever, whatever you want, whatever your heart desires, right? But don't do that your whole life because you're going to be chasing the carrot uh, if you do that your whole life, right? It's wealth is not really how much money you're making, right? Wealth is how much money you're spending, right? If you're spending more than what you're bringing in, you're poor, you're impoverished. If you're spending less than you're bringing in, then you're on your way to becoming financially independent. Right? So, long story short, yeah, these comic books were a fucking fantastic deal. <laughs> Ronnie, how many comics do you have in total? Oh, I have no idea. I don't know. I, well, I, I might have an idea. A thousands. More than 10,000, less than 20 maybe? Bonds. I remember I've been collecting off and on for 30 plus years right guitar horses rise the sky might go twist Salut. so good so good beer and almonds is the best it's so good so good very delicious very delicious they just go well together all right beer and almonds you just drank your last beer if we were living in star trek world i teleport transport a beer to you You want to go to bed? I would go to bed. Get a good night's sleep, gang. Get a good night's sleep. Salute. I'll tell you one thing. With this nasty little flu I picked up, it hit my sleep cycle. Right? So I wasn't getting a good night's sleep. So one of the things I added to my protocol was... Um, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, oh my god, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's a little pill you take for melatonin. I introduced melatonin to my protocol uh, just a few days ago. Okay, just to be able to get better night's sleep. Okay, I won't do it for long, but right now, while I'm still recouping from this thing, uh, need to get sleep. Need to get sleep. Oh, you're in bed watching on your cell phone. Oh, no, no. Stay in bed. No beer. Go drink beer tomorrow or next day. How do you say cheers in Arme Armenian? Genats. Genats. Okay. Salut. Genats. And Armenians cheer way too much. <laughs> I've drank with them. I would be one of those people that... I used to have a rule for the longest time. If we're drinking vodka, no mix allowed. You're just drinking vodka. That's one of my best friends. Remember it. Uh, first time we drank together. He goes, uh, Chicho, man. The first time we drank, I remember. He plopped open the bottle of vodka and said, Okay, look, if you're going to drink with me, you're drinking this straight. And I said, Okay. And then <laughs> we became best friends. He was really good. He's a nice guy. baby nights just be careful if your body gets used to it you'll have a hard time falling asleep without it yeah i know that baby nights that's why i refrain from taking it for the longest time really uh, but this uh little nasty flu we'll call it for now tomorrow we'll call it something else uh, is is uh, can be very disruptive okay so right now, it's required, unfortunately, unfortunately.
Micro Twist. Say, Genaz is that of Salud. Genaz. Eldega, tomorrow I start drinking from 11 a.m. Going to be awesome, he says. Are you going cider, Strongbow? Micro Twist. Cooler if you say Armenia. More real and from the heart. Mm. Salud is from the heart as well. What is it? Salud is from the heart as well for me. So is Genaz. Salute in every language is phenomenal. Try Potofin. Is the ultimate sleep maker. What? What is that thing? Tryptophan. Tryptophan. What's tryptophan? I've heard it before, but I don't know what it is. Laugh out loud box. How are you doing? Got a job in construction. Been nice for body and mind. Awesome. Yeah, I like working construction, man. Really makes for strong grip, builds up these guys right here, right? Important, gives you core stability. Uh, I like working construction, I wouldn't do it for my whole life, but I've done a lot of it, and it was it's good for the body. But if you do it too long, you get, you get trashed. Elga, being my birthday, I can't drink what I want. Oh, what? You can't drink what you want? You go too ballistic? So with underwear. Uh, tryptophan is high in cashews, really. You got me addicted to roasting cashews. Nice. Really? Because I ran out of cashews and uh, my sleep was getting whack again. So I need to get back on cashews again then. Tryptophan is a chemical that makes you sleepy. It's in meat, wine, etc. If I'm not wrong. Oh, that's the stuff in Turkey. Yeah? Okay, okay. Love a lot box. Don't want to do it for too long. Just for the moment. Make some money. Want some super strong hands. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it for long. Construction over and extended your whole life will ruin your body. Right? Will ruin your body. Right? Cannot. <laughs> ah, very nice. Very nice. Good live stream today. Very nice and chill. Perfect, really. Perfect. Tomorrow again. Don't forget, we're doing a live stream from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., I think. Is that correct? 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Let me check this out. 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. and I'm gonna share my sources of news and information gang okay I think it's 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. let's check it out um, schedule schedule I'm just going to my gilded page here I'll open up the gilded I'm just going to my gilded page that's where I, I set up my schedule uh, so you can go to schedule and tomorrow is 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. nice 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, I'm going to be sharing my sources of news and information, an update of previous videos we've done in the past, right? Um, I think this will be the fourth update, and there's a fair bit of sources that I'm going to that are different than the ones I had previously because things have shifted, right? And if you want to know some of the information that we're coming across, you definitely want to be on Gilded uh, Server Gang, okay? We have a light topics and heavy topics heavy topics is where I'm most active that's where I share a lot of information there's a lot of information being shared on the light topics as well so a lot of the sources that I'm going to share tomorrow I've been linking up in our gilded server okay so if you want uncensored discussion talk about whatever you want uh, the gilded server is a good place to be uh, join us there Dr. P, greetings, greetings. Hope you're doing well. Oh, tryptamine is uh, tryptophan is mega high in milk. 
That's why people drink milk before bed. I didn't know that. Laugh out loud box. The Polish people I work with, it, they know how to drink. Yeah, Polish know how to drink. And there's a lot of a lot of poles in uh, in construction. A lot of Polish people in construction, and they work hard, man. They're hard workers, on all levels. Lots of trades. Lots of Eastern Europeans in general, in construction. What time is it now? It is 12.42 p.m. my time. The green looks amazing. Ah, thanks. Looks great, but they need, they need more time to grow. You can't see the buds right now. Need, a, need another month. I don't know if we're going to get another month of sun for them to grow well. Zare. I've filtered through all of news sources and deleted all of them. I don't have the energy anymore. Yeah, I feel you, Zara. I feel you. It's draining. But for me, I consider it part of my... Uh, something I need to do. And something I need to share. It's my way of fighting back to a certain degree. right? And it is part of my whole business model, if you want to think about it that way. It is something that I do talk about current events, so... I have to stay up to it. Baby, nice. Croatia just won European Championship in water polo. Nice. <laughs> yeah, baby. Awesome. <laughs> Cheryl, I feel that. Yeah, Cheryl says to Zara, I feel that staying up to current events. All right. But if we don't, if we don't know what, if we don't resist, we're going to be st stomped on. Right. Ghost face. Speaking about things that make you sleepy. I'm thinking of picking up some ice cream cake, can, cannabis strain uh, this evening. Nice. Some ice cream cake. It's a cannabis strain, really. Nice. Uh, cannabis, I find, um, like I haven't been vaporizing at all for the last three months now because of this nasty little flu I picked up. So that might have something to do with my sleep pattern being all messed up as well. Uh, so yeah oh i would like to get back on the cannabis bandwagon koreans know how to drink koreans can drink fast and hard but they can't handle their alcohol ronnie i know a lot of koreans i've known a lot of koreans i live with korean uh i party with koreans there's two asian cultures that i know can dr can drink a lot right and they do drink a lot korean and japanese and i party with them both right Koreans, Japanese, they like drinking. Koreans are messy drinkers. Japanese, not so much. Japanese can handle their alcohol better than Koreans. Koreans become messy and sloppy after a while. <laughs> I had a roommate, Korean roommate. I used to play poker all night uh, with Koreans. Man, it was fun. Those were amazing days, amazing days. We used to do a three-day poker nights like start on a friday night play all the way to sunday morning they're gamblers felix how are you doing how did you teach you a long time no digital c how's that hanging pretty good get out uh, what's my favorite sleepy time cannabis string you know what I, I vaporize everything. Like I, I try everything. Um, Durban poison I really liked. Like really, Durban poison was a delicious cannabis strain. Fantastic. Taxida time warp was really good too. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, God, there's so many. There's so many. There's so many ghost face. Micro twist. All poles here work at construction, at construction, and yes, they w work hard as hell. They work hard as hell. Indeed, indeed. Huge respect to our Polish friends. Get nuts. <laughs> I hear Koreans drink more than Russians. Um, no, no. Koreans. 
maybe they can drink faster than Russians, but they get destroyed, right? Russians can drink forever. Same with Armenians. Armenians can drink forever. It's, I'm not, you know, it's not something I'm boasting and proud of or anything like this, but um, uh, it is what it is, though. Like, Eastern Europeans in general can drink a lot. Koreans, no, they get messy, man. Really, they get messy. I, I've never met a Korean that, while I was still standing, and even though I was blurry and hazy, I could still maintain, they were pulling down their pants. <laughs> <laughs> just passing out <laughs> I don't know what they were doing <laughs> fun to party with man love my Korean brothers really Korean and Japanese I partied a lot with Koreans and Japanese man love them both love them both they really there's a huge competition between both of them and as an Armenian you you drink with them both like I, I used to like we used to party and stuff Korean and Japanese together right and there's a little bit of tension between them both and it's 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 amazing it's amazing right koreans drink like crazy i agree with you micro twist koreans drink like crazy but at a certain point boom crash ronnie i can attest to that koreans are just messy and crazy they can't control it they can't control it <laughs> The ancestral anxiety kicks in, I think. Oh, the God. Sharing my sources for news and... Oh, here it is. Uh, this is what we're doing tomorrow, gang. Sharing my sources for news and information at a Julian Assange discussion. Sunday, September 11th. From 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. PDT. That's my time. Afternoon, right? It has been a while since I shared some of my sources for news and information. So let's do a live stream and talk about some of my main trusted sources for po political and economic news and analysis. Analysis. That's what we're doing tomorrow. Okay. Micro twist. Eighty-three percent of Russian of Russia is Asia. Russians drink. They then they become psychotic and become bloodthirsty and fight um not the russians i've i've, I've partied with but i've partied ma mainly with the um european russians right so it's different so it's different i haven't really partied with the asian russians cheryl uh, the only people i know with alcohol allergies are koreans all unrelated oh, do they have alcohol related <laughs> <laughs> allergies <laughs> love all love us have you ever drank with scandinavian people yeah for sure hard hard to the vikings to the vikings and that gets crazy it's hot it just doesn't stop it just does not stop you just don't like you could be falling down fall, grab a beer it's like dude what are you doing <laughs> Felix Chicho uh, life update for you I got my college exam results back A in politics A in law and C in biology very very happy awesome congrats congrats to Felix get out to Felix now uh, says to my cryptos you should see the British drink <laughs> funny ghost face being a native american i find that i can handle a lot of liquor but it affects my body faster than other cultures seems to affect that be affected wow wow here here's one thing i noticed certain cultures can drink a lot of beer but they can't drink spirits and vice versa well no vice versa really doesn't exist the ones that can handle a lot of spirits they can drink a ton of beer so australians are one Australians can drink beer till the till like the crow cocks in the morning. Like they just drink beer, 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 beer. They can drink beer forever, right? Start giving them spirits. Whoa, it gets messy. So Australians, I found the Australians I partied with, they can't handle spirits, right? They're okay with handling beer, lots of beer. It's like water to them, right? But spirits really mess them up. Oh, the God, I can drink any Eastern European. Uh, in fact, 
I do on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, British drink a lot. Same with Scottish. Actually, all of Europe is a f alcoholic. Really, the amount of alcohol consumed in Europe was through the roof. The Czech Republic was crazy. Not a good thing, by the way. And Japan is just a, f a s country with f just functioning alcoholics. That's that's all it is. Microtoast to ghost face, because natives only have seven eclip told it's black and whites have 35 that's why natives become so destroyed by alcohol it's deadly for us really i know they're uh, because on the west coast of canada there's a lot of indigenous people here right um alcohol is very destructive very destructive to that community unfortunately <laughs> oh the god to valhalla <laughs> to valhalla Maybe we drink with the ancestors. <sighs> Void, how are you doing? Thank you very much for the follow, uh, Abram Madas. Uh, Void, Quebecers, the king of drunk, uh, dr drug mixing, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> yeah, I've partied with a lot of Quebecois, Quebecois as well. Uh, there's a little bit of craziness going on there. 10 minute warning thank you very much all the god cheryl the folks with alcohol allergies have major reaction to any ingested alcohol like ambulance ride kind of reaction ouch ghost face they can't handle spirits used to date an aussie yeah they can't handle spirits i don't know why right they can drink beer can just never drink water just drink beer that's fine give them some spirits and boom they just get destroyed right is weird i'm experienced professional alcoholic but i'm also in control of my career <laughs> good hell to god not joke a ghost face not joking about uh switching to wild wild game let's check this out what's this about ghost face to micro -twist. i think about switching all meats in my diet to wild game avoiding the white man's food joking but then you say not joking about switching to wild game so you like deer uh moose a buffalo i guess but buffalo is uh they grow on the farms and stuff too right so deer and stuff <laughs> only joking about avoiding white people food <laughs> funny randall swedes are also periodic alcoholics yeah the sweets uh, I, I used to drink with a guy called sven <laughs> sven <laughs> every every celebration festival or holiday we traditionally drink uh snaps oh my god Dr during summer a lot of people drink every day yeah i know me and sven drank every day <laughs> whenever we hooked up we're just drinking <laughs> it was it was a schoolmate um he was a funny guy super funny guy we weren't too close but the only time i spent with him was basically partying the three stooges hey chicho how are you i love booze my doctor told me to watch my drinking now i drink in front of mirrors <laughs> yuck 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 <laughs> hilarious <laughs> funny oh my god i love the mongolian diet in fact i will probably retire there ah nice meat and alcohol Actually, Mongolians, do they drink a lot? Because no one ever talks about them. Yeah, Mongolians are pretty hardcore, man. Solid people. If you have a Mongolian friend, you, you have someone that will stand by you till the end of time. Really. That's what I found out. I haven't known too many Mongolians, but the one I, the one I really knew, she was solid as fuck. Like, really. What a woman. at that time put all other women that i knew to shame maybe i didn't know very many good women but she was solid again yeah. let's call the stream tomorrow uh 1 p.m sharing my sources of news and information
Okay, and we'll do a little bit of Julian Assange discussion. Thank you for being here today. I probably shouldn't say this, but I have over $100,000 invested in Mongolia. Nice. <laughs> Why not? Lots of yurts. If you want to know what this work is about, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho. We do have a Substack page and a subscribe star page, so you can definitely follow the work there. Soiled underwear. Have a beautiful day, Chicho. You as well, Soiled underwear, and everyone, gang. Thank you for popping in and for sharing information, participating in discussions, and laughing with us, and drinking with us, and eating with us. All right? We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E. Yeah, thank you very much for the support on both these platforms. It is in large part because of the support we get on these platforms and other platforms and other means that we are able to do what it is that we are doing. And mods, 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 thank you very much for being here and taking care of business. Cheryl, starting and ending with your talk. Haha, <laughs> nice. <laughs> We do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on my VK, Gab, Getter, and BitCloud. And we'll see what other platforms maybe we'll find ourselves on. For certain live streams, I guess, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash Chicho as a podcast. And those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play. We will be uploading this full live stream. We haven't done a full upload on sensor 2 for a while but we'll upload this full live stream on sensor 2 and as always all the live streams will be loaded on bitchu rumble and odyssey always always those are free speech platforms so if you want to follow the work gang if you like what we're doing what we did today join us on bitchu rumble and odyssey okay that's where you will see everything and as i mentioned before we do have a gilded server you can join us there open discussion no censorship share what you like give us your opinion enjoy life be a real human being without the technocrats trying to silence you so you're definitely welcome to join us on you gilded chicho do you ride motorcycles i have in the past but i will not ride a motorcycle again uh, dirt bike i will uh maybe uh, i we used to have a dirt bike I've ridden motorbikes before. I've had a motorbike accident uh, before when I was really young. Uh, I was riding, uh, I was a passenger. The driver got pretty messed up. And unfortunately, uh, I lost a brother to a motorbike accident. So driving, riding a motorbike in, uh, in the Western world, in Canada anyway, is extremely dangerous on the roads. Most drivers have no idea uh, what road safety is about and they don't uh they they don't keep an eye out for motorcycles so i refuse to put my life into their hands if everyone in the world in my area rode a motorcycle i would ride a motorcycle but if you're going against cars and trucks mm, you know it is what it is you don't want to be there rumble is the chicho jungle haha <laughs> awesome maybe nice by the way guys can someone check out sensor uh, censorship and free speech channel on Gilded. I need help. Uh, some regarding Bitchu. Thanks. Uh, okay, cool. If you post it on Gilded, we'll check it out for sure. Thanks, Ronnie. Gang, I hope you have a fantastic day. And if you can make it, see you guys here tomorrow at 1 p.m. Bye, everyone.